Hi, I'm Lawson with Ampere EV, and I'm gonna to talk to you about inverters and motors. In front of me here is a Cascadia Motion IM225, and on the top here is the inverter. An inverter is matched with an electric motor, and what an inverter does is it takes the DC power from your battery pack, and it converts that into three AC phases for an electric motor. Just like cylinders in an engine, you have to fire these phases, these windings in an electric motor in the right sequence to get it to spin, which is just like firing a cylinder in an engine in a certain order. The inverter takes that DC power and it converts it into the right timed phases to spin the electric motor in the direction that you want. Every motor comes with an inverter paired with it, but they come in a couple of different physical formats. So in this case, on an IM225, the inverter is mounted right on top of the electric motor. But for packaging reasons, you might sometimes want that inverter to be mounted separately. You can also get the inverter mounted in different places on a motor, such as with a Tesla motor, you have it mounted on the side. Every form factor is really just up to the application for which one makes the most sense. The way you might pick if you want a integrated inverter or a detached inverter depends on if you're looking for the simplicity of having it pre-mounted or if you're working in a really tight packaging space and you need that flexibility to be able to mount these components separately from each other. This was a quick overview of inverters and electric motors. If you have more questions, please drop a comment in the video or reach out to us here at Ampere EV. Hit the bell and like and subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot more content just like this coming out explaining all the different parts for EV conversions.